but yeah, so I think from the time I was little, people always asked me what I wanted to do with my life. And I was always like, art and people. I want to work with art and people. The art and people, art and humanity, art and culture are, they're one thing. You can't really have a culture without the arts. When you silence the arts, you're like stifling the culture. There's so many connections there that I think are just so, so important and inseparable. And, and I do, uh, I do believe that they are so connected. A third one is a girl that I'm currently doing private lessons with. She's a younger girl. It's been neat. She has a learning disability and through that she is also nonverbal and has a lot of day-to-day -day challenges that you and I, uh, our day-to-day -day things for surviving are pretty straightforward. Um, this girl struggles with a lot of those basics and so having an hour a week or we do every few weeks usually every couple weeks try to do two weeks in a row her having the opportunity to take a break and do art to play and to have fun has been really really neat but through the lessons like through her learning learning basic art skills like mixing colors and line and shape and learning how to use those things intentionally has really added to um, she's nonverbal, and so her art is a way that she communicates. It's added, it's, 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 it's a language in itself and it's added, given her these tools and a larger vocabulary to use as she communicates what's going on and what she's feeling and thinking. And that's been really, really incredible to see how, how she's growing and changing just in the short time I've been working with her. And the color mixing. I recently have started listening to more about art therapy and, and it makes sense now that I've kind of researched it, but the color mixing has been huge. It has developed confidence and pride and joy in a way that I have not seen. Like she, when she's excited, um, she has two screams, like one when she's angry and doesn't want to do something and is frustrated, which isn't the end of the world, like it's okay. She's eight, so it's it's normal to be frustrated. And she has another one that's when she's happy. She just, she makes these screaming noises, like she's so excited. And so it has been neat to see those, see that happening when she has created something that will be a part of a beautiful piece of artwork. And it's from her, like there, it's her own art and creativity. And so that's been really, 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 really amazing. So I hope these stories are, I hope you find them inspirational or encouraging that maybe you can do art with someone or maybe someone you've been thinking like, oh, this person should do art. Like maybe you just take two colors and help them mix. Maybe you just sit at a table and bring out some art supplies and draw as you talk. I don't know. I'm not an art therapist. I'm not like a certified psychologist or anything, but I, I do believe and I have seen that art can have those therapeutic uh, results and break down boundaries and walls. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I do studio tour videos where I, just, I show you what I'm working on. There's lots of other topics, but I do art videos uh, once a week.